Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. Come on students, now we'll start the next problem that is problem number 9. Ninth problem, you can see carefully. Again I told you, almost 80-90% points are same what we are doing in every problem. Only some 2-3 new points are there. Those new points you have to highlight, you have to concentrate, focus on those new points. Remaining all the points are exactly similar, similar what we have done in the uh, previous problem. From the following figures relating to Trimurti Bank Limited, prepare the profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2004. So we have to make the profit and loss account of Trimurti Bank Limited. Profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2004. Again, same format I have prepared without the amounts. Amounts nahi lena, sirf format completely draw kar dena. Up to transfer to statute reserve 25% of whatever profit we'll get. Right? And blank schedules you make for 13, 14, 15, 16. Blank schedules. And we'll see each and every item. If there are no adjustment, directly we take it in the schedule. If there are some adjustment, we make the adjustment in working note. And one work, working note compulsory provisions and contingencies in which we take bad debts, provision for doubtful debts and provision for taxation. Now, see the problem. <coughs> interest 1,40,000 net after deducting interest paid 90,000. Starting may he we got a bouncer. Interest. Interest is given 1,40,000 after deducting interest paid. So bank में two types का interest होता है, एक interest earned रहता और एक interest expended रहता. The banker will earn the interest on loans and the banker will pay the interest on deposits. तो यहाँ पर problem में क्या करा? Net कर दिया. 90,000 interest paid को minus कर दिया. Interest earned में से. Net amount of interest earned is 1,40,000. But according to the provisions of Banking Regulation Act, the interest should not be net. The interest should not be set off separately the bank has to show how much interest it has earned and how much interest it has expended paid so after deducting 90,000 we are getting 140,000 so we add back 90,000 humko total interest earned so whatever amount is deducted that we are adding it adding it back so here in the last note fourth note you can see Interest earned is equal to 140 plus 90. It will become 230. So in schedule number 13, we take interest earned 230. And in schedule number 15, we take interest expended 90. So dono ko net nahi karna hai. Kar diye hai, to usko wapas kar denge. Jo 90,000 deduct kare the, usko wapas 140 mein add kar denge. So it will become 230. Now you can see here, interest earned interest earned will be 230 how we got 230 in working note i have written here hint so you can go in working notes and see 230 then interest expended schedule number 15 interest expended interest paid 30 so 230 interest earned and 90 interest expended this is the first point second rebate on bills discounted as on 1st april 19 uh, on 1st april 2003 so rebate on bills discount at the beginning of the year, opening rebate. So whatever discount receive, we will add opening rebate, add karenge, closing rebate, minus. Karenge. Audit fees, rent paid. Both audit fees and rent paid will come under schedule number 16, operating expenses. Discount received. Now see here. To this discount received, we add opening rebate and subtract closing rebate in working out. So working out by discount received may opening rebate ko add karenge, closing rebate minus karenge. Then salaries, director fee, postage, telegram, stationery, ye sare items ka pa lenge, 16 shed. Konse konse? Salaries, director's fee, postage and telegram, stationery and printing. 
these are all the items we should take it under operating expenses next bad debts 4000 the bad debt should not be taken in any of the schedule it should be taken under provisions and contingencies bad debts 4 right next item loss on sale of investment see if there is any profit on sale of investment and loss on sale of investment we would have set off we are, we would have deducted the loss from the profit like in your problem profit on sale of investments are not given only loss on sale of investment are given so we deduct the loss from other incomes what are the other incomes we have commission exchange and brokerage the other income is commission exchange and brokerage so commission exchange and brokerage 8 minus loss on sale of investment 5 so 8 minus 5 3 so that 3 I am going to take it in other incomes commission exchange and brokerage 3 and write down, write down here working note so that we can be able to know how we got this thing in working out that explanation is there next after that dividend paid proposed dividend or dividend paid anything that will be taken under appropriations agar proposed dividend diya to proposed dividend likhenge dividend paid ha to dividend paid but it will come under appropriations depreciation that's an item of operating expenses depreciation I have taken now adjustment now here some new points are given the bank had 2 lakh rupees as bills discounted and purchased on 31st March 2004 they were all discounted at 15% they had an average maturity date of June 12th here rebate we have to calculate the banker is having some bills 2 lakh rupees worth of bills and all the bills are discounted at 15% per annum discount rate is 15% so 15% per annum so if you calculate 15% of 2 lakh it will be 30,000 but this 30,000 is for one year but the uh, bill duration is not for one year the bill is going to mature on 12th June we are closing the accounts on 31st March hum accounts close kar rahe 31st March ko aur ye bill matured ho ra 12th June ko so we have to find out how many days it is falling in the next year going in the next year so that needs some calculations here you see calculation of rebate on bills discounted at the end of the year that is 31st March 2004 the amount of the bill 2 lakh <coughs> rate of discount 15% per annum so discount for one year 2 lakh into 15% 30,000 rupees is a discount for one year but we need to calculate for how many days it is falling in the next year the number of days falling in the next year April 30 May 31 June 12 maturity date June 12 given so kitne din next year mein are we are closing the accounts on 31st March so March ke baad April aega May then June so total number of days are 73 days now we need the discount for 73 days and we already got the discount for 365 days yeh 30,000 rupees jo aya ek saal ka hai 365 days ka hai but we require the discount only for 73 days so 30,000 30, into 73 by 365 you will get 6,000 so rebate on bills discounted at the end of the year is 6,000 that is not directly given in the problem we have calculated in short problems also this type of problems we have done how to calculate the rebate on bills discounted the opening rebate is given in the problem that is 20,000 opening rebate 20,000 closing rebate 6,000 and how much is the discount on bills 95,000 95,000 rupees is the discount on bills to, to this 95 we add opening subtract closing here you can see discount received 95 add rebate on bills discounted on 14 2003 opening 20 add kar 115 minus rebate on bills discounted at the end of the year closing just now we got 6006 so it will become 109 the discount earned during the year is 109 here I would have discount earned working note 109 that is the new point in this program and the uh, the, the bank wants to make a provision of 10,000 for bad and doubtful debts and 30,000 for taxation. So, provision for taxation directly given in the problem. Provision for bad debts and provision for taxation. No need of any calculation. Problem may they are. 
the under provisions and contingencies already bad debts are given in the trial balance 4 and provision for doubtful debts 10,000 it is given in the last line of the problem make a provision for doubtful debts provision for doubtful debts 10 and provision for taxation 30 that is the end of the problem so take the total of these 3 44 is the provision for taxation and working note already I told you first working note from commission exchange brokerage we deduct loss on sale of investment the net amount we have taken in schedule number 14 and calculation of rebate on bills discounted just now we have calculated the problem is closing rebate nahi diya. closing rebate we have calculated opening rebate given in the problem the discount on bills may opening rebate at closing rebate minus 109 that discount 109 we have taken that's all now simply you have to take the total of each and every schedule and those total will be taken in the profit and loss account the total of schedule number 13 339 you can see from here 339 is the total of the schedule number 13 I have taken here 3 is the total of 14 taken total 342 is the total income expenditure 90 15th schedule and operating expenses total 108 I have taken 44 is the total of provisions and contingencies the total is 242 so 342 total is income and 242 is the total of expenditure subtract 342 minus 242, 100 is the net profit for the year. No profit brought forward is given. The total 100. Out of 100, 25% of current year's profit is transferred to statutory reserve. So 100 cut 25%, 25 okay. Dividend paid 25. So 100 minus 25 minus 25, the remaining balance 50 is the balance carried over to balance sheet. That's the end of the problem. But the most complicated problem point in this problem is regarding the interest. Be careful. First line, mein, pahli line mein diya, interest 1,40,000 after deducting interest paid 90,000. Why deduct? Kare? Deduct nahi karna. Humko dono interest alag alag chahiye. Interest paid kitna hai, interest received kitna hai. So, jo deduct kar diya, usko add back kar denge. So 140 plus 90, 230, 230 should be taken interest earned and 90 should be taken interest expended. That is the new point. Remaining more points. Sir. Hope you understood my explanation. If you have understood, please share it, like it and also give the comment. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. So circulate this channel among your group, among your different groups so that more and more students can be able to benefit from these lectures. See you again in the next video. Hello students. Come on, we'll start the next problem that is problem number 10. 10th problem, see carefully. Prof uh, prepare profit and loss account in respect of World Bank Limited incorporated in the Banking Regulation Act from the following balances on 31st March 2004. So we are required to make the profit and loss account of World Bank Limited here. 10th problem, World Bank Limited, Profit and Loss Account for the year ended 31st March 2004. So I have prepared the complete format as usual, no change at all. So only amounts, we have to take only after preparing schedules. So amount nail and will schedule put up ready right now. Or four schedules you have to make blank. We'll see the items and directly we'll take it in the respective schedules. The management decides to make a provision of 1 lakh rupees for bad and doubtful debts. So provision for bad and doubtful debts that will be taken under provisions and contingencies. So in working note, we write on provisions and contingencies, provision for bad and doubtful debts 100. And this 100 directly will take it in the profit and loss account. Now, the positive point in this problem is we have don't have any adjustments. Your problem is not adjustment, they are only trial balance are given. Trial balance is given. That's it. Now, interest received. Schedule number 13. Interest received will be taken under schedule number 13. So here 13 schedule interest received 400. No adjustment, nothing. Interest paid on deposits, schedule number 15. Interest paid on deposits, student. Salaries other than managing director's salary, 150. So all salary, whether paid to managing director or any other employee, all the salaries will be taken under operating expenses. Then allowances to employees other than managing director, all allowances will be taken 16th. Then commission received, commission received is other income, commission received 300, 
then brokerage 150 brokerage other income 150 stamps these are the stamps purchased it's an expenditure so it will be taken under operating expenses stamps advertising printing postage advertising printing postage here in schedule number 16 then interest on borrowings the interest paid borrowings ke upar interest pay hota schedule number 15 interest on borrowings 250 then managing director's salary all the salary whether paid to managing director or any employee here operating expenses then allowances to managing director same director's allowance and remuneration same local committee fees and allowances same 16 schedule rent taxes same all these will come under schedule number 16 then rent taxes we have taken discount discount 210 this is schedule number 13 discount 210 then exchange exchange 180 so exchange will be taken here exchange in working note I have made some changes and 175 I have taken how I'll show I'll explain you in working notes rent received miscellaneous income rent received one day miscellaneous receipt miscellaneous receipt 150 then depreciation return of banks property operating expenses repairs to banks property operating expenses loss on sale of government security see here this is the loss on sale of investment government security investment day the investment ke upar loss ho gaya to normally what we'll do the loss on sale of investment will be deducted from profit on sale of investment the loss on sale of investment will be deducted from profit but here we don't have any profit on sale of investment so we are deducting from any income we can deduct from exchange so that's why in working note exchange 180 minus loss on sale of security 5 so 180 minus 5 175 here i have taken 175 exchange right even we would have deducted from uh, this brokerage also commission also then miscellaneous expenses here i have taken miscellaneous expenses last operating expense last one is balance 500 see this balance 500 is given in the trial balance because trial balance is not tallying some <clears throat> clinical mistakes or some mistakes maybe there are some adjustments are there that's why balance is given in the trial balance remember balance will not come in profit and loss account it is neither an income nor an expenditure but the balance the trial balance is not tallying on account of some adjustments so that adjustments will not be taken 500 in the income and expenditure account and that will be taken while preparing the balance sheet agar balance sheet banana hai ta, to there we would have adjusted somewhere but here in profit and loss account we are not concerned with the balance that 500 balance ignore that 500 balance and we'll find out the profit we have taken all the items take the total of uh, schedule number 13 610 schedule number 14 885 so 610 i have taken 885 total i have taken then interest expended 460 then operating expenses 535 is the total operating expenses provisions and contingency here it is given provision for doubtful debts 100 the total 1095 so 1495 income 1095 expenditure subtract kar do, 400 is the net profit for the current year there is no profit brought forward so total 400 25 percent of 400 is 100 so out of 400 100 is transferred to statutory reserve remaining 300 is the balance carried over to balance sheet that's all this is the end of problem number 10